today we are going to discuss about the fourth unit and we are going to have an out, outer look of capital structure let us see what is capital structure the term denotes two words that is one is capital and another is structure capital is nothing but money and structure is the arrangement of that money from different sources that means the capital structure is how a company managed to finance its operation there are two major sources to raise funds for capital structure one is debt and another one is equity let us see the meaning and definition of capital structure capital structure as i told before it is a arrangement of capital from different sources so that the funds funding needs of the business are satisfied so under this we have certain uh, different types of risk as well as the capital structure affects the value of a company for example if a company has raised funds in the form of equity shares and bonds we could say that company capital structure includes debt and equity bank loans retained earnings and working capital might also be a part of company's capital structure so the company capital structure may include debt equity bank loans retained earnings and working capital let us see the definition capital structure means the type of securities to be issued and proportionate amount that make up the capitalization of a company factors determining capital structure first one is cost of capital that incurred in raising capital from different sources of funds in a business sufficient revenue so needed so that the cost of capital can be met and growth can be financed degree of control is nothing but equity shareholders have a more right in a company then the preference shareholders or the different uh, depends on shareholders the capital structure of a firm will be determined by the type of shareholders and the limit of their voting rights next factor trading on equity so trading on equity is said to occur when the rate of return on total capital is more than the rate of interest paid on dependents or rate of interest on new debt borrowed government policy that means which has an impact by the rules and policies set by the government change for example changes in monetary and physical policy result in bringing about changes in capital structure decision theories of capital structure we have a uh, famous theories four famous theories that uh, everybody known theory that is net income theory net operating theory so under net income theory this is postulated by david runan who put forward the idea of increasing the proportion of debt in the overall capital structure so in the capital structure as per the david runan he says that by increasing the uh, debt proportion will be a uh, good in a capital structure according to him debt is a fund source because it has a lower interest rate eliminating the risk factor and playing a significant role in deducting expense for income tax this theory is also called as the fixed fixed ke theory next we will see the net operating income theory it despite that company's market value is not affected by change in capital so the company's market will not be affected by the change in capital structure the overall cost of equity can remain fixed no more no matter the proportion of the debt the, under theories of capital structure the uh, third one is traditional theory which is postulated by estra solomon as per their assumption of this approach quite related to net income it is quite related to net income theory the main principle behind this theory was to increase the proportion of debt we have seen in the uh, last slide previous slide that uh, net income approach where david drunan he put an uh, idea that increasing the debt proportion 
will have a good formation of capital structure so here also in the traditional theory also they say the same thing modicillanian miller theory is the final theory and it is a very famous theory it uh, it is uh, came into existence by correlating the ideas of two co members franco and modicillanian and merton miller this theory had two further assumption that is absence of corporate tax presence of corporate tax absence of corporate tax that means the value of the credit worthy firm will be equal to that the amount of equity compromised presence of corporate tax the tax are applied value of the credit worthy firm is equal to the value of the indebted firm summed up with the product of the tax rate and uh, and the value of debt so coming to the conclusion capital structure is very much required for successful running of the business and to ensure profitable growth in the market without a pro without a proper capital structure a company might face many hurdles in the market henceforth a proper structure must be evaluated for which several theories are available to make a reference here calculating and representing an optimal optimal capital structure with the minimum risk factor is mostly appreciated one so the capital structure should be uh, structured in such a way as per the optimal capital structure so that there will be a minimum risk let us see what is the optimal optimal capital structure that means a proportion in which it structures its equity and debt it is de, uh, designed to maintain the perfect balance between maximizing the wealth and the worth of the company and minimizing its cost of capital under leverage we have two types of leverage first let us see what is leverage leverage is nothing but borrowing funds for a particular purpose with an obligation to repay these funds with interest at an agreed to schedule the idea behind leverage is to help the borrowers achieve a high re return with a smaller investment so under the leverage we have two types of leverage that is financial leverage and operating leverage dividend dividend refers to that part of net profit of a company which is distributed among the shareholders as a return on their investment is in the company under dividend we have two things that is earning to be distributed as a dividend and earnings retained in the business determinants of dividend policy type of industry age of corporation extent of share distribution thank you for watching this video